Halloween is coming up, which means uh, some people are going to do whatever they can to avoid passing out candy because they're cheap. Well, at least that's me speculating on this next story. A woman from Fargo, North Dakota, decided that she is going to take the obesity epidemic into her own hands with her own solution. And her solution is to not pass out Halloween candy on Halloween if she thinks that someone is moderately obese. Oh. Instead, she is going to give them a note letting them know they are moderately obese. Oh, well, that sounds just great. Good way of uh, handling children there. Uh, I, I, I hope you have many of your own. Look, I, we were when we were younger, we were far more malicious than kids today. Okay, mm -hmm. but if you can believe that, uh, and if people mess with us on Halloween and did not give appropriate candy, there would be retribution. Yeah, her house is definitely getting egged. I'm not saying that I'm an advocate for that type of behavior. No, we we denounce and reject all egging. But bullying kids that you think are fat. Really? That's unacceptable behavior. Okay, so let's under, let's break this down. First of all, I like that her she's got a range and she's like, well, I mean, if you're massively obviously you're getting a letter. Sorry. Sorry. Here's your letter, okay? But if you're also moderately obese, mm, letter. Sorry, okay? And I'd if love you, to see what she looks like. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a whole other issue. So if I come to your door and I'm looking forward to Kit Kat, like that, back in the day, I don't know how it is now, but that was kind of the, this is the gold standard, right? Kit Kat or Snickers bars? No, nah, it's not buying Snickers. But, oh. but like, uh, like we'd get whatchamacallits way back in the day when I used Trigger Tree when I was a kid. We'd get Reggie bars, which were awesome. Right, so there were some things you look forward to. And then you get like the uh, orange cone, orange candy, whatever that thing candy is. Corn. Candy corn. Oh, I hate that. And then some people would give you apples and you got to throw away the apples because there might be razors in them. So you obviously smash that on their sidewalk if they're lucky, <laughs> right? But if some woman were to give me a letter, first of all, I'd be like, letter what? Letter what? What do you mean letter, yeah. right? And then I read it and it says, sorry, you're not getting any candy because you're a fat ass. Oh, no, 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 no. That's, that's why they made Mischief Knife. And we, I mean, I know that that's 364 days later, but your house has been marked. So, uh, yeah. Let me give her an opportunity to speak for herself. I don't want to put too many words in her mouth. She tells a local radio station, I just want to send a message to the parents of kids that are really overweight. I think it's just really irresponsible of parents to send them out looking for free candy just because all the other kids are doing it. Yeah. Uh, you're going to get a message back. There's some really <laughs> cruel people out there. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that overweight children should be eating candy. There's a possibility that this really does come from a good place, but it's not your decision to make. They have parents. Let their parents make those decisions. It's not right for you. And by the way, you're not helping anyone. By telling kids that they're fat, that's not going to somehow convince them, hey, maybe I should eat better. They're kids. Usually they're a little more sensitive than that. Yeah, I love the idea that they'd be like, oh, cranky Miss Johnson down there told me that I was fat on Halloween. So you know what? I'm going to get... That's really motivating me to get in better shape. Now, like you're putting aside the, the, you know, the kidding around about retribution. Obviously, you shouldn't do anything to the poor lady. I mean, she's got her own issues, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but she's got to realize that even if she meant well, she, does she have no sense of how obnoxious this is to young children? Yep. Like you got to have better sense than that, okay? I, even if your heart's in the right place, and it's a good open question whether it is in this case, right? Uh, you got to have better sense on how to deal with it and how to address that issue. And it isn't by basically slapping kids across the face on their favorite holiday.